So, got my husband to drop me off about 10 kilometers away from home, and uh, it's a beautiful day. So, I've got my water and I've got my sweat towel and um, lots of water. So, here's hoping I have a good time and it's not too, too bad and I don't die, but it should be all good. Well, I almost made it three kilometers before the horse flies found me, so we'll have to see how long it takes me to go crazy. Five kilometers, so it's coming along. I haven't checked on the GPS on my phone with this Nike running app how much further I have to go, but I'm just gonna keep going. I've got a really good playlist. If I was gonna do one of those pet peeves videos, the feeling of sweat under my sunglasses would definitely be right up there. Oh, it's really sunny. Well, sorry if you guys get motion sick looking at this video, but I just had the coolest experience. I'm just at about seven kilometers and I was just about out of water. So I was like, oh no, what am I gonna do? I started looking for houses that had cars in the driveway and a couple of places there was nobody home or they didn't wanna answer the door. So I knocked on this house and this sweet lady came to the door. Her name's Debbie, I know that now. And she said, oh, come right in. When I told her that I was halfway through a, a really long walk and was just about out of water. So she got some cold water going and, and she's like, oh, do you need some ice? So I told her a little bit about what I was doing and that I was halfway through losing 100 pounds. And she said, well, do you post about it? Like, that's really amazing. And I said, well, yeah, actually I do. I have a, a YouTube channel that I post to. And, uh, or, and then I was, I was leaving. What's the name of your channel? So I can go and find you and follow your journey. And so I told her and... So she said she was gonna look it up. So that was pretty cool to uh, have knocked into her house and get filled up on the water again. So a few more kilometers and then I'll be home. Okay, so I'm in the home stretch. There's just probably about one kilometer left. And sorry again for the motion sickness. Here's a crazy story. So I have this huge double walled insulated plastic mason jar drinking mug. It's like 32 ounces or something and it's really cool because it has this really cute red and aqua swirled straw and I just love it but I dropped it one day and the lid broke and I was so sad because I didn't want to have to buy a whole nother one just to get a replacement lid and so I tried duct taping it and that didn't work but uh, as I'm out on the walk today I saw something on the ground, so I leaned over to pick it up. And it's the lid, the exact lid. Same color and everything, so. Somebody didn't need it, but I did. So I'll have to, you can see it's all dirty. I'll have to take it home and clean it and sterilize it. And reduce, reuse, and recycle, isn't that what they say? My lucky day. I just got back, so now I'm just stretching. They're doing a treasure hunt for his fidget spinner. Hi. This is Owen. He wanted to say hi. Uh, it's very distracting right now. So, and then if anyone is wondering or thinking about how easy or difficult it is to exercise when you're fasting, I didn't have any loss of energy. I wasn't hungry. I'm not hungry now. 